Hey everyone, it's the excellent dude again with another Excel how-to video. In this video, I'll show you how to rid your workbooks from the dreaded div by zero error. In this example, we'll be working with a fictional auto salesperson report. As you can see in column E, we are calculating the average sales value, which is simply the value in the D cell divided by the value in the C cell. For Susan, you can see we've entered a zero in her sales and nothing for sales value resulting in the error. And for Jack, there are no values for the formula to work with. Thankfully, the solution is super easy. We can use the if error function to show a specific value of the formula results in an error. And you can define that value to whatever you'd like it to be for the most part. So let's fix this formula. After the equal sign, we'll add the if error and an opening bracket. And then after the formula, we'll add a comma and we'll use NA in quotes. As you can see, it makes no impact on John's data. And now we'll copy the formula to the other rows and see if the div by zero errors have been replaced by NA. Sure enough, they have. So let's put in some data for Jack. And now you can see the average sale value is showing. And let's try editing Susan's row. As you can see, it updates as well. Well, that's the fix for the dreaded div by zero error and the end of this video. If you find my videos informative or at least somewhat entertaining, please give this video a like and please consider subscribing and clicking the notification icon to be notified when I release new videos. Thanks again and have an excellent day.